Oh man, I can't wait to sit back and watch the Miami Heat playoff game. Or as I like to call it, the Jimmy Buckets Show. Because Jimmy's about to get buckets. Go Heat! Hey, buddy! Not now, Karen. It's Jimmy time. Can't you see I'm wearing my Heat jersey and my shorts? Oh, can you turn up the AC? Because I'm starting to feel some heat! Boiny, have you seen your daughter? Yeah, she's like upstairs playing Barbies or whatever. No, she's not! Okay, whatever. I'm trying to watch the game. Boiny, did you pick her up from school? What, 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 what? Pick her up? Why would I pick her up? I thought you did that. That's not my job! She's your kid! Oh, hold, hold on, the game's starting, the game's starting. What, pass it to Jimmy. Pass it to Jimmy! Yes, yes, yes! Yes, Jimmy! From three! Go heat! Go heat! Yes! Oh, I don't have a heart beat. I have a heart heat. It goes heat, 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 heat. Yes, Jimmy! Boy, it's eight o'clock at night! What, what, what? Who's calling me? What, what, uh, uh, oh no. Oh, it's Penelope. Oh, she's probably mad. Hey, can you talk to her? I, I don't really want to answer it. Boyney, you answer your daughter. Oof, okay, uh... Hey, princess, go heat. Dad, you forgot to pick me up from school. I know, princess, I'm sorry. You know the heat game is on. And Jimmy, Jimmy, yes, Jimmy just dunked it. Oh, <laughs> Jimmy. You're the worst dad ever. Oh, don't say that, honey. I'm sure there are worse dads, like dads that aren't fans of the heat. You know, I could be a Knicks fan or like I could be a fan of the Orlando Magic. I mean, who are they? Uh, Dad, there's a creepy car behind me. Oh, come on, don't pass it to Kyle Lowry. Jimmy Butler's right there, he's wide open. Uh, oh, yeah, sorry, honey, were you saying something? Uh, Dad! 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 Jimmy from three! Step into three, put it on the board. He, 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 he. Buddy, your daughter just screamed! Did she just see that shot that Jimmy just did? Buddy, I think she got kidnapped! What, 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 what now? Buddy, your daughter! What, are the kidnappers still on the phone? I don't know! Now you listen here. I don't know who you are, and I don't know what you want, but I am watching the heat game right now, and I do not have time for this. Like, you picked the worst possible time to abduct my daughter, because Jimmy, Jimmy is just going crazy out there. Okay, like, he's just draining threes. It's awesome, okay? So, I would really appreciate it if you would just bring her back here and maybe get her a Happy Meal, too, because I forgot to pick her up from school, and she's kind of pissed about that, and she's probably even more pissed now that you kidnapped her. H hold on, hold on. No, not P.J. Tucker. Not P.J. Tucker. Oh, come on. I'm sorry, where were we? Uh, oh, yeah, please return my daughter so I can watch the game. Thank you. Butler, switch. Maneuvers for two. Crafty. Buddy! What? Buddy, stop it right now! Come on, come on, come on, give me that! No, Buddy, you go out there and save your daughter! Oh, 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 headaches, headaches. You're giving me a migraine. Oh, oh, Jimmy. Oh, no, no, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy. Buddy, your daughter! Okay, but, 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 but the heat, but the heat. Go get her! Okay, I'm going, I'm going. Oh, I really just want to watch the game. Hey, mate, what are you doing at work on your off day? Yeah, it is my off day, isn't it? So what am I doing here, at work? Yeah, what are you doing here at work? Well, apparently my daughter got kidnapped because I forgot to pick her up from school or something. But honestly, I just want to stay home and watch the Heat play. You know, because Jimmy Butler is going bananas out there. No way. No, he's doing great. You should see it. No, I'm talking about your daughter. She got kidnapped? Oh, yeah, 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 she did. So I was wondering if maybe you could look for her for me so I can just watch the game. Oh, absolutely, mate. I'll set out an ember alert and alert the news right away. Oh, thank you so much, Simmons. Uh, uh, hey, by the way, can you get the game on your phone? No, I'm still on the Australian plan, so all I get soccer. Oh, all right. Well, I just don't really want to go home, but I, I guess I could just tell my wife you're working on it. Yeah, that'll work. All right, here I come, Jimmy. Jimmy Butler from three. Jimmy Butler, and the crowd goes wild. Barney, did you find your daughter? No, but it's being taken care of. Barney, I said no game until after you found your daughter. No touchy of the remote A uh, Thank you. Listen, my partner Simmons is working on it. He put out an Amber Alert. He alerted the news. He did the whole shebang. It's fine. She's not going to be any more kidnapped by the time the game is over. Buddy! Be quiet. Jimmy has to make his free throws, and I don't want you distracting him. Okay, Jimmy, just breathe. Well, come on! Breaking news, okay? A girl named Penelope has been kidnapped, and we need your help to find her. She has orange hair and glasses. This is such a tragic story that we will continue to interrupt the Miami Heat basketball game until she is found. Oh, come on! Who cares? Put Jimmy back on! Buddy! 
day. Look, kids get kidnapped every day. It's not every day you get to see Jimmy shoot threes because they don't play basketball every day. Otherwise, he would. Why you go find your daughter? Well, I have to now because they're not going to put the game back on until I do. They can take Penelope, but they can't take Jimmy. I'm not doing this for her. I'm doing this for the heat. All right, I'm tracking Penelope's phone, and it says it should be around here somewhere. Look, Penelope, if you're hiding in the bushes, I'm going to be pretty pissed off because I could be watching the heat right now. Wait, oh, there's a phone. Okay, so yeah, she was definitely kidnapped. Uh, oh, what's that? A button from a shirt. Huh. Okay, so the kidnapper is wearing a shirt that's missing a button. Well, I mean, there's only seven billion people in the world. How many of them could be wearing shirts missing buttons? Roar! I'm the sticky note monster! Jeffy, stop wasting sticky notes. Ah! He made a huge mess. <laughs> Who's at the door? Let me get it. Hello? Hey man, I got a question. Are you here to watch the Miami Heat game? You have the game? Yeah, it's on right now. What? Okay, I want to watch Jimmy. It's on. Oh, I can't wait to watch the Heat game. Well, it's on. What? This isn't the Heat game. This is the Warriors game. Well, I don't know my NBA teams. Maybe it's on another channel. Move. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Oh. The news took over the channel. What? A kid got kidnapped. Yeah, it's my daughter. What? Well, she's kidnapped? Yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You're not upset? Oh, I'm upset that I can't watch the Heat game because the news is on. Well, you know, you don't want to go look for her? That's what I'm doing. I came here because I I had a, oh man, I had a button, but I threw it in my excitement. Damn it. I just know that the kidnapper has a shirt that's missing a button. So, do you have a shirt that's missing a button? My, my shirt doesn't have buttons. You think I kidnapped your kid? I don't know, man. People are crazy. Well, I did not kidnap her. We don't have her here. Man, I guess the trail's gone cold. Are you sure you can't get the game on this thing? Well, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess I'll just watch live score updates from my phone. It's not going to be as good. What, oh, who's calling me? Hello? Hi, mate. I got a live update on your daughter. What, really? You found her? Tell the news so they can put the game back on. No, I didn't find her, but I found out who may have done it. He's wearing a plaid shirt and he's got glasses on. What, a plaid shirt and glasses? Who the hell wears a plaid shirt and glasses? Oh, Jeffy's friend wears a plaid shirt and glasses. But really? Where is he? Uh, they're, they're in his room right now playing. Oh, I'm coming, Jimmy! Alley you, Junior! <laughs> Sick. Hey, I gotta talk to you. Wait, what? Did you kidnap my daughter? Wait, no. That's exactly what a kidnapper would say. Wait, Penelope got kidnapped? Oh, yeah. How'd you figure that out? Did your friend here tell you about it? Wait, no, you said your daughter got kidnapped, and I know uh -huh, Penelope... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something fishy's going on here. I knew you guys wouldn't talk, so I'll make you a deal. If I beat you in one-on-one -on -one basketball, you have to tell me where my daughter is. But, but I'm not even good at basketball. Okay, then. If I beat your friend Pencil Nose over there in one-on-one -on -one basketball, you have to tell me where my daughter is. Okay, fine, whatever. All right, Pencil Nose, you heard me. You and me, playing one-on-one -on -one basketball. All right, I'm Skinge. All right. All right, I get the ball first. Why? Well, because my daughter's been kidnapped. Look, the way we're going to do this is every score is worth one point, and whoever gets three points first wins. Okay. Okay, go. Ooh, where am I going? Where am I going? I'm like Jimmy Butler. I can shoot her from anywhere. Get out of my house, bitch! What, what the hell? My ball. Okay, you got lucky with that block, but there's no way you're ever gonna... Hmm. Maybe take it. Okay, okay, homie, that's fair, but there's no way you're gonna ever do that again. Ah, ah. Oh. You good? I'm good, homie. Yeah, that was clean. Oh, come on, Brooklyn guy, you're losing. Come on, come on, be like Jimmy. Pull out your Jimmy and explode everywhere. Ugh. Okay, all right, now I'm heated. Like the heat. What, what? Ha! Hi, you missed my ball. Okay, here's my chance to come back. I'm gonna be like Jimmy. <laughs> oh, the crowd goes wild. <sighs> My ball. <laughs> okay, all right, just gotta do it again. Oh, face drained. Oh, okay. One more shot, and I can win the game. I can save my daughter and watch the heat play. Okay. Ooh, where am I going? Step back. Three. Oh, oh I dropped it. Three. <laughs> that was all bad. It was all bad. My hands were slippery. I'm. I. Yo, ball. Okay, I really biffed my chance there, but it's okay because you're gonna miss this shot, and then I'm gonna get it. Huh. Okay, I lost. But you know what? It doesn't matter because you don't have buttons on your shirt anyway, so you couldn't have done it. Yeah, I don't even care. I just wanted to play basketball, so. Mm. Ugh, I don't know where to look now. Maybe they put the game back on. We have still not found the missing girl. In other news, the Miami Heat beat the Atlanta Hawks and Jimmy Butler went bonkers, scoring 45 points, a career playoff high for him. Well, yeah, of course he went bonkers. They call him Jimmy Buckets for a reason. Oh, man, I can't believe I missed the highest scoring playoff game of his career. That was the best game ever, and I don't even like sports. Yeah, it was. But Penelope, where have you been? Uncle Jonathan took me to see the Miami Heat game. What? Why? I won two tickets, and I didn't know anyone who liked to Miami Heat, so I took her. But, 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 
the meat. I like the heat. See, see the heat. The heat. Oh, I'm so sorry, Brooklyn guy. I didn't know you were a fan, or I would have taken you. See, I was driving to your house, and I saw Penelope just walking down the street. So I grabbed her, so no one could kidnap her. I lost my phone, Dad. And I lost my button. Yeah, yeah, I found, I found both of those. Man, I just, I can't believe you guys saw Jimmy without me. P Penelope, tell me, what did Jimmy smell like? I don't know. We were sitting in the nosebleeds. Oh, he smelled so good. He gave you a nosebleed. That's exactly how I imagined it. I get nosebleeds when I sneeze too hard. Thank you, Jonathan. Well, I guess I'll watch the Miami Heat highlights. You should have seen it in person. Shut up, Jonathan. <laughs> Jeffy, what are you doing? I mean, my shoe, Daddy. What, eating your shoe? Jeffy, why are you eating your shoe? That's gross. I'm hungry, Daddy. Well, if you're hungry, just tell me. Don't eat your shoe. What do you want to eat? Um, McDonald's. Jeffy, you need to eat something more healthy. And you need to mind your damn business, bitch! <laughs> well, Jeffy, you don't talk to her like that. I'm sorry, Daddy. I just get mad when I'm hungry. Well, I guess apology accepted. I just, I, I, we need to get you something to eat. You want McDonald's? Yeah. All right, let's all go to McDonald's. You don't talk to Rosalina like that ever again, though. Okay, Daddy. You can whenever you're ready. Uh, just one second, please. Uh, what do thank you want? You Nothing, thank you. Um, what do you want? Uh, what, Jeffy? Uh, get back in your seat, Jeffy. No. What do you want? Chicken nuggets. Uh, can I get chicken no, nuggets? No, fuck that, Daddy. I want roast beef. They don't have roast beef, Jeffy. What well, do you want? Well, fuck. Jeffy, what do you want? Uh, pizza. Uh, get the pizza, Jeffy. They don't have pizza. They have chicken nuggets or a cheeseburger. What do you want? I don't that shit, Daddy, I'm not eating it. I want a milkshake. You're not getting a milkshake? Can I get chicken nuggets? No, I don't want chicken nuggets. I'm not gonna eat those shit, Daddy. Well, I don't want a milkshake. You're not, you know, I just My want My a whore. Just, just, uh, just can, can I get chicken nuggets, please? Oh, Jimmy, that was absolutely ridiculous. Daddy, I said I did not want chicken nuggets. I'm not eating this shit, Daddy. Hey, Jimmy, I wanted roast beef. They didn't have roast beef, Jimmy. Just eat your chicken nuggets. No, Daddy. Fuck this. I do not want chicken nuggets. Jimmy, just eat your chicken nuggets. I don't want these chicken nuggets, Daddy. Jimmy, shove it in your chicken nuggets. Jimmy, please eat your chicken nuggets. No, fuck that, Mommy. I didn't want your chicken nuggets. Jimmy, Jimmy, watch your mouth. Look out. <laughs> I think it's fucking broken! My back! I can't fucking move! I think I'm fucking paralyzed! I'm so fucked! Get the jaws of life! I can't fucking get out of here! Uh, I'm so fucked! Uh, are, are you okay, sir? No! My neck is fucking broken! And I think I'm fucking paralyzed! Uh, I'm so fucked! I, I barely tapped you, though. I need your fucking insurance information! Uh, oh. I, 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 don't, I don't have car insurance. You, you don't have car insurance? No. You are so fucked! You are so- I'm gonna take everything you fucking own! I can't fucking move! I'm you, fucking paralyzed! You can- you can move as- you can move fine! I can't move! Fuck! I'm so fucked! <sighs> well, I'm we, taking everything you fucking can own! Can you come inside and we can talk about this? <laughs> you are so fucked! You are so fucked! Come on, we- we- we work something out! You rear ended the fuck out of me, Mario! You broke my neck, and you don't even have car insurance! I didn't break your neck! I know it's not broken! But I'm not gonna pass out a free check! I'm gonna get fucking paid! Well, how, how much money do you want? $50,000. $50,000?! I barely hit your car! I know, Mario, but my neck is broken. I'm fucking paralyzed. I can't move. My toes are numb, and my dick doesn't even get hard anymore. Just because I tapped your car? Yes, and you don't have an insurance company that I can sue, so now I have to sue your ass! So you see this fucking table? Fucking mine. I can't wait to eat dinner on this! See that painting? I don't like it. It's depressing as fuck, but it's mine. Your hat? I'm gonna grab my wife's big fake tits while wearing your hat. Well, why were you even outside my house? Mario, I came here to get your house payment. I was sitting in my car, looking at my bank account, and I felt the slightest tap shook my whole body. I looked up in my rear view mirror, and I said, holy fuck. Cha-ching, I'm about to get fucking paid. So then everything started hurting. I was paralyzed as fuck, so now I'm a quadra-fucking-plegic. Well, well, I didn't even do $50,000 worth of damage. Oh, let's go take a look at it. Oh, that's not that bad. Not that bad? You fucked up my bumper. Well, that can, that can like, wipe off, right? No, the fuck it can't wipe off. That's $50,000 of fucking damage right there. Well, it doesn't look like that much. Well, fuck that. You better give me $50,000 by tomorrow, or my fucking back hurts. My neck hurts. I can't fucking move. Paralyzed as fuck. 
Oh, 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 okay, I promise you you'll have your money tomorrow. I promise. Mario, what were you doing driving without car insurance? I didn't think I needed it. Well, how's that working out for you? Daddy, you need to learn how to drive. Jeffy, I know how to drive. You were bothering me in the back seat. I wouldn't hit that car. Well, if you would have just got me a milkshake, then I wouldn't have complained about my chicken nugget. You didn't deserve a milkshake, Jeffy. Roast beef. Mario, where are you going to get $50,000 by tomorrow? I don't know. You better start slinging leg, Daddy. I might sell a kidney or something. I don't know. Mario, let's check the newspaper for jobs. The newspaper? Oh, yeah, yeah. The newspaper's going to have jobs giving out $50,000. Oh, Mario, happened. look! Well, Domino's Pizza Delivery Contest? $50,000 cash prize? Mario, all you have to do is deliver pizzas. Deliver pizzas? <laughs> yes, Jeffy. Me and you are going to deliver pizzas, and we're going to get that $50,000 cash prize. We can deliver pizzas. Uh, come on, Jeffy. Let's go. Okay. Uh, hello? Oh, hey, what can I do for you two gentlemen? Uh, we're here for the $50,000 pizza delivery contest. $50,000? That's a lot of dough! Huh? Yeah, because this, this, this is a pizza place. You know, the dough. We do, we do dough. Yeah, 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 I get it, but no, but we seriously need the money, so we're, we're willing to deliver pizzas for $50,000. The contest. Okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Um, I'll just get you uniforms, but uh, while I'm gone, could you watch the phone, please? W watch the phone? Yeah, okay. yeah. If the phone rings, just answer it and say, you know, this is Domino's. You, you know, you know what to do. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay. Um, all right, Jeff, you watch the phone. I'm going to use the bathroom. Okay, darling. Okay. Hello? Hello, is this Domino? No, it's Pizza Hut. Hello? Hello, is this Domino? No, it's Papa John's. Hello? Hello, is this Jeffy? Who the fuck's asking? What, Jeffy, who are you talking to? Um, nobody. Okay, guys, I got your uniforms here. You, uh, you ready to deliver some pizzas? Yeah, we're, delivered, we're ready to deliver some pizzas. Yeah, right. we're ready. Okay. All right. All right, Jeffy, our first house. You're going to go to the front door and deliver the pizza, okay? But why do I have you doing, Daddy? B because you're a little kid, and you get a better tip than I would get, because I'm old, and they're not going to tip me well. So you go to the front door, knock on it, they're going to answer the door, you're going to take their money, give them the pizza, and then you're going to get your tip, okay? All right, Daddy. All right, go do it. Go get that tip. Sure, I have your large pepperoni pizza here. Oh, good, my pizza. Is it hot as hell? Um, yeah. Well, you see, because I am the devil, so. Oh, you know. that'll be $14. Well, how about $6.66? Um, what about a tip? No, no tip. Isn't that so evil? <laughs> no tip. You must be delusional as fuck. No tip. Jesus. Daddy, this job sucks donkey dick. What, 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 what happened, Jeffy? Well, the asshole only paid me $6, and he didn't give me a tip. What, only $6? That, that's not enough to cover the pizza? I know, Daddy. What an asshole. Well, okay, Jeffy, let, let me go talk to him. Maybe it's a misunderstanding. <sighs> Way. Hello. Um, excuse me, sir. Uh, we, we just delivered a pizza here, and you didn't seem to pay the full amount for the pizza. I know. Isn't it evil? I... Yeah, and, and illegal. Uh, also, we didn't receive a tip either. Oh, you want the tip, huh? Yes. Well, I can give you a really great tip. Oh, okay, yeah, give me a great tip. Never walk in front of a moving train. Blah! <laughs> Are you kidding me? <sighs> Danny, did you get my tip? No, Jeffy, I didn't get your tip. Why well, should I rub my ball sack all over his pizza? Pepperoni and ball sack. <sighs> Jeffy, let's just get out of here. Danny, I should go back there and teach that motherfucker a lesson. No, J Jeffy, just shut up. The uh, violence isn't gonna solve anything. I'm talking. Open the door, bam, right in the suck hole, Danny. Jeffy, just shut up. Oh, Danny, look out! Ah! Um, Danny, you hit that car again. I know, Jeffy! I know I hit the car again! <laughs> I didn't even hit you that hard. You again? Uh, uh, how do you not see a bright red Lamborghini? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I, I didn't see you. My neck hurts. I'm paralyzed as fuck for <laughs> sure now. I barely hit you. Wait a minute. D do you work for Domino's? Well, uh, now I do. D did you hit me in a Domino's car? Uh, uh, yeah. Chick fucking Ching, I'm so fucking paid. <laughs> Mario, you hit the car again? Uh-huh. Yeah, Mommy, I told you Daddy needed to learn how to drive. Jeffy, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna hit you. Uh, who's that? I'll be right back. 
Uh, hello? Oh, hey, Mario. I just wanted to stop by and say thank you for paying me $50,000. Well, I, I didn't pay you $50,000. Oh, you actually paid me more than $50,000. See, when you hit me in the Domino's car, huh, I sued the fuck out of Domino's. Sued the fuck out of them. See my shirt? Wait. I own Domino's now. Wait. They settled out of court. I own the fucking company. Wait. See the Lamborghini back there? Yeah. I deliver pizzas in my Lamborghini. It smells like pizza in there. Pizza is fuck. Okay, well, I, I just want to say fucking thank you for that because I own Walmart and Domino's. Oh, 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 okay. Blue suit is fuck. Uh, I'm, well, I'm, I'm glad you got your money, I, I, but you don't look hurt at all or paralyzed. I'm paralyzed from the neck down, Mario. I can't move a fucking muscle. Okay. You're moving your arm. No, the fuck I'm not. That's a robot arm. Oh, okay. I'm out because I have to go make sure the pizzas are delivered. Uh, uh, all right, but bye. Alright, Ras. Ras, math problem for today. Ching Chong wants to buy egg rolls, and each egg roll costs three dollars. Ching Chong already has two dollars and a daughter. How many egg rolls can he buy? Well, Ching Chong only has two dollars, so he can't afford to buy an egg roll. But Ching Chong has a daughter. So how much is a daughter worth in China, Ras? One dollar. Correct. So two dollars plus one dollar equals three dollar. So Ching Chong can buy one egg roll. It's very important for you to remember this class for your test next week. So go home, do your homework, and I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, we have homework tonight. Jeffy, are you doing the homework tonight? Hold on, Junior. I'm picking ass burgers right now, and I think I got a good one. Oh, I think I got something stuck underneath my fingernail. <laughs> Can I smell it? Oh, hell yeah! Hit that ass booger! Mm. Oh, oh, that's a dang ass booger. Oh, Junior, you should hit that. Oh, guys, I'm just really worried about the homework tonight. Junior, you wanna know why I say that homework? What? I say fuck that homework. You guys DTF? Yeah. Down to Fortnite? I'm talking pounded ass pickles, Junior. I'm talking when we get home, we squat up and we spur lump some buttholes. That, that, I mean, that does sound fun. I mean, who needs to do homework? Exactly, Junior. Let's go fuck some people up. Let's go do it. Just had a long, boring day at school. Can't wait to sit down and play Fortnite all night long. Jeffy, before you play video games, you have to do your homework. I don't have to. Jeffy, yes, you do. You have to do your homework before you play video games. Where's the contract at, Daddy? What contract? Exactly. I didn't sign a contract that said I can't play video games until my homework's done. Well, we don't have a contract, Jeffy. We don't need one. Exactly, Daddy. So I'm going to play video games all night long. No, no, Jeffy, no, no. You have to do your homework first. Daddy, do you not know how hard it is to go to school for eight hours a day and not pay attention to people talking at you and assigning you work that I'm not going to do? And then they want to say, oh, here's homework. Go home and do more. Or nothing! I'm not doing my homework, Daddy, and I'm gonna sit right here and play my video games all night long. You know what, Jeffy? I'm gonna go take a dump, because I really have to take a dump. And after my dump, you better be ready to do your homework. Great! Who is that? I hope it's a pizza man. I didn't order pizza, but I can hope, right? Maybe you got the wrong house. Pizza man? No, no, I'm actually off the clock right now. Uh, is Mario here? Yeah, he's just taking a big fat patty whacker dump. Oh, that well, sounds like I caught him at a bad time. Uh, this is your grandpa? He's getting kicked out of the retirement home because he grabbed one of the nurse's butts. Yeah, Veronica was pretty upset about it. So, uh, he's your problem now. I'm just gonna limbo out of here. How low can I go? Grandpa? Rufus! Yeah! Rufus! Oh, I have a good idea. Come inside. Okay. Alright, Grandpa. You're gonna sit right here and pretend to be me while I go play video games all night, alright? Nah, yeah, you kids these days with your tinker toys and your calculators and rocking horses, I don't understand it. Alright, well, I'm a, I'm a go. Alright, guys. I'm in my closet. You guys ready to squat up? I'm gonna play Fortnite all night long. I'm not even going to school tomorrow. I'm alone. All right, Jeffy. We're gonna do your math homework, okay? Ah, poop. Oh, okay. Well, you always poop, Jeffy. So we're gonna do your math homework, okay? Uh, Rufus. What? No math homework. Okay, Rufus. All right. So, uh, first question. Ping pong has two balls. He hits one ball with paddle. How much pain is he in? No, oh, my balls are saggy and stretched out like an old sock. No, the answer would be a lot. He's in a lot of pain. Oh. 
Yeah. So uh, question number two. Some dumb hoe has three sisters. They go to the nail salon to get toes done. They paint four toes and quits because of ingrown toenail. How many toe no paint? Feet! No, the, the answer is six. Uh -oh. Yeah, they only painted four toes and they stopped. So there's, there's six no paint, okay? Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, number three. Slung Lek Dong had 14 cats and four cucumber. He ate four of them. Four of what did he eat? Kitty! Yes, correct. Four cats. Yeah, I eat kitty. <laughs> yeah, that. So, uh, okay, number four. Chickity China, the Chinese chicken, lays eight eggs. It takes 20 eggs to make egg drop soup. How many eggs have dropped in the soup? Mm, I like soup. Mm, soup is good. Yeah, but how many eggs have dropped? Uh, 20? No, no, not 20. Only eight, because the, the chicken only laid eight eggs. He can't drop 20, he only has eight. Oh. Yeah, all right, so the last question is, girl in hospital says, something wrong with Verina after she had four baby. What wrong with Verina? Oh, Veronica! Oh, I like Veronica, she had a nice ass. And not Veronica, Verina. Um, Very loose. No, no, her ass was really tight. And okay, okay, well look, Jeffy, look, we, we're finished with your homework, I just helped you with it, so let's go get you some dinner so you can go to bed, so you can go to school tomorrow, okay? Okay, Rufus. All right, let's go. Mm. All right, Jeffy, here's your SpaghettiOs. Mm. You poisoned these, did you? No, Jeffy, why would I poison your SpaghettiOs? Uh, you're not in my will. I gave it all to Lugie. He's taller and green. He's got a mansion. You a doctor? No. No, I didn't think so. Jeffy, Jeffy, just eat. You, you hide my pills and bologna. I don't want to see them. You don't take pills, Jeffy. Just eat your stupid SpaghettiOs. <laughs> you smell like throw up. Oh, uh, oh, Jeffy, they're SpaghettiOs. You've eaten cold SpaghettiOs before. Cold? You didn't eat these up? No, you like them cold. No, it's quite all right. I don't think I want those. I'd rather just die in my sleep. So you're saying you want to go to bed? Yup. And you don't want to eat anything before you, go, before you go to bed? No. All right, let's go to bed. Rufus! What? Huh? Let's go to bed, Jeffy. Okay, Rufus. All right, Jeffy, it's time to go to bed. Anal. Is there anything you want before you go to bed? Metamucil. I need my Metamucil. Oh, okay, well, you never take that ever, Jeffy, so you don't need it. I think I'm having a stroke. My arm doesn't work. I can't move it. Je Jeffy, you're just playing around, okay? So I'll wake you up in the morning to go to school, okay? Good night. Good night, Rufus. Goddamn Nazis. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Gunfire, quick, hit the deck. Jeffy, stop playing. It's time to go to school. I stepped on a landmine. There goes my leg. Bye, leg. Well, Je Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Wake up. Oh, you're a sexy nurse, ain't you? Pull my catheter out with your teeth. Yeah, slow like... Jeffy, it's time to go to school! Uh, uh, oh, God, I'm blind! I'm blind! They did it! They finally did it! Those goddamn terrorists took my eyes! Jeffy, just open your eyes! I can't! I'm blind! Open your eyes! <laughs> there you go! Oh, it's a miracle! I can see! Uh, are you Jesus? No, Jeffy, look, you have to go to school, okay? I'm not going to no concentration camp! Uh, what? Uh, Jeffy, look, you just have to go to school! Uh, uh, they, got, they got macaroni? What? Y yes, if you go to school, you'll get macaroni. Mmm, macaroni. Yeah, let's go. Uh, uh, I can't believe we stayed up all night playing Fortnite. I didn't do my homework. Well, at least my best friends didn't do their homework either, so they can get in trouble too. I did my homework. Wait, what? No, you were playing Fortnite with me all night. I did my homework while I was playing Fortnite. Well, how'd you have time to do that? Junior, all we did was camp. I had plenty of time. Well, uh... Do you think Jeffy did his homework? No, he was pretty clear that he wasn't going to do it. Well, well, what if he did? Uh, do you think he's coming to school today? No, I think he's probably still in the closet playing Fortnite like he said he was going to. Oh, ma'am. I'm going to be a big loser woozer that gets yelled at in front of the whole class. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, can I copy your homework? No, I already turned it in. <sighs> you know, I should, I should just go hide in the closet. No, you know, Junior, I used to be in the closet too, but it's much better now that I came out. All right, class. Today, we're going to be learning history lesson about Pearl Harbor. But before we do, did everyone turn in their homework? Huh? Did you do your homework, Junior? Did ya? You didn't do it. You didn't do your homework, did you, bitch? What about you, Junior? You do your homework? What, what, why ask me? Why, why don't you ask Cody? Because I did it, and you didn't. He didn't do it. <laughs> oh, you didn't do it, Junior? Well, that's a big F for you. F you. Anyway, Crass, let's get back to our history lesson on Pearl Harbor. Is this where I get the macaroni? Oh, hey, Jeffy, you rake! Did you do your homework? 
Are you goddamn Koreans in your noobs? Are you trying to kill all of us? Huh? I take that as a no! Let me go on the computer and give you all F! Except for you, Cody. We need the wall! Uh, wow, Jeffy, that homework must have stressed you out. What? That homework must have stressed you out. What? I, I said that that homework must have stressed you out. Oh, God damn, I can't hear. What did you say? Oh, you kids are mumbling all the time. You're making music. Uh. Okay. All right, Crass. I hope you all enjoy your F. Anyway, as I was saying, the history lesson for today is Pearl Harbor. Everyone think Pearl Harbor was attacked, but it wasn't. It was actually a big misunderstanding. Us Japanese just really wanted to go to Hawaii for vacation. So this is what happened. See, Japan right here, and Hawaii is way the fuck over here, in the middle of the goddamn ocean. And what happened, Crass, was that our planes ran out of gas, and we crashed into your ship. And we don't know how many times we have to say this. We sorry. Why you think buffet so cheap? If we try to apologize, we keep apologizing. We get rid of your straight cat, your straight dog. We 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 help it. You kamikaze sons of bitches! I'll show you a kamikaze. I, I think I broke my hip. Jeffy, go back to your desk. Uh, how about I drop two more nukes on your Asian ass? How about that? Jeffy, go back to your desk or else you're gonna be suspended. Uh, Cody, I don't think that's Jeffy. No. Uh, you can't take my freedom. One more word out of you, Jeffy, and you're suspended. Oh yeah, I got one more word for you. Carrots. Wow, Jeffy, unbelievable. You got suspended for saying carrots? Yep, and I'd say it again, too. I fought for this country and I earned the right to yell carrots at the Chinese. Well, you know what, Jeffy? If you want to be all big and bad and talk back to your teacher, then you're grounded. Ooh, 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 I pooped. What? Uh, I pooped. Well, you know what, Jeffy? Since you pooped your diaper again, you can just sit in it. Mm, 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 squishy. All right, well, you know what, Jeffy? I'm not going to let you just sit around since you're grounded. I want you to go take out the trash. Huh? I want you to go take out the trash. What? I want you to go take out the trash. God damn it, where's my hearing aid? You don't need a hearing aid, Jeffy. You have two ears. Look, go take out the trash right now. I'm fucking leaving. I'm a war veteran. I don't have to take this. <sighs> I get no goddamn respect in this house. I lost my teeth for this country. I deserve to be treated better. What? What kind of Nazi trap is this? Murphy, the Nazis done took over your house and dug a hole in the living room. Ugh. That's fine, I can jump it. I earned the Medal of Honor! What? What was that noise? Jeffy! Jeffy, are you okay? Hey there, what seems to be the problem? Oh, thank God you're here, Doctor. My son fell down the stairs and now he's not breathing. Is he okay? That's an 80-year-old man. What? No, it's not. That's my son! No, that's... that's an old man. What? No, that's my son, Jeffy. Look, his shirt says Jeffy. He has a gray mustache. What? Uh, uh, oh yeah, well, uh, Jeffy has a mustache. What? No, he doesn't. That's an old man. Wait, uh, oh yeah, wait, that's my grandpa! That's your grandpa? Oh, oh yeah, I'm sorry, I just got confused because he was wearing my son's clothes. Oh, just because somebody changes their clothes, they turn into a completely different person. I mean, you know I'm the cop, right? What? You're the cop? Yes, I change clothes depending on what job I'm doing. You didn't know that this whole time? What? No, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just people look different when they change their clothes, you know? I, is that why you wear the same clothes every day? So you don't forget who you are? What? No, it's just, look, 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 look. He was wearing my son's clothes, so I thought he was my son. I'll be right back. Oh, Grandpa, I'm so sorry. I didn't know it was you. What? Hey, Daddy. Jeffy, thank God you're okay. I thought you were hurt. Your Grandpa's not looking too good, though. Are you fucking serious? Jeffy, don't cuss. It's me, the Brooklyn guy. I was adopted just one second ago. But, but your shirt says Jeffy. Yeah, and my helmet's the wrong color, too. But you don't see anything above the neck, so I guess it makes sense that you wouldn't recognize me. Well, but you have a shirt that says Jeffy. You're wearing Jeffy's clothes. There is something wrong with you, okay? There's something wrong with your eyes. You need eye surgery. That's the next video. Mario gets eye surgery. Well, okay, well, then, look. He's wearing Jeffy's clothes. You're wearing Jeffy's clothes. Who's Jeffy? Did you get hit in the head or something? Hey, Daddy. Can we have pizza rolls for dinner? Or bagel bites or some shit. Anything pizza related, I'm down for. What? Who are you? Who's this guy with no shirt on in my house? Get out of here! That's your son. That is not my son. He does not have a shirt on that says Jeffy. That's still your son. Oh, okay, look, I don't have three sons. Look, there's Jeffy. You're Jeffy. He's Jeffy. Who's the real Jeffy? 
You know what, me. I, I'm the real Jeffy. I knew it. I, I knew you were the real Jeffy, Jeffy. Yeah, okay, great. Let's go eat some pizza rolls or something. Yeah, you two get out of my house. I, I know there's only one Jeffy. Um, so am I a doctor now? Ugh, here, knock yourself out. Yay! <laughs> oh, man, I'm so sick. Hey, Danny, can I skip school today? No, Jeffy! Yeah! Don't touch me with your dirty boogers! Jeffy, you cannot skip school. You gotta go. Then take me. Jeffy, I feel so sick. Can you just ride the bus? What's a bus? You don't know what a bus is? No. It's a, it's a big thing that takes kids to school. Oh, so like an airplane. Well, kind of. It just doesn't have wings. So then how does it fly? It doesn't fly. It's a bus. So then why'd you say it's like an airplane? I said it's kind of like an airplane because it would kind of look like one if it had wings, but it doesn't. It's, it's yellow. Oh, so like a taxi. But it's really long. Like a limousine. But it's a truck. A trimousine. There's no such thing as a trimousine, Jeffy. Yes, there is. Well, then go outside and get on the trimousine. It'll take you to school. Well, how am I supposed to know where it's at? Uh, don't worry. It, it, it'll find you. How will it find me? Is it stalking me? Well, no, no. Uh, Santa Claus tells it where you're at. Santa Claus? Can I give Santa Claus my Christmas list? Well, Santa Claus won't be driving it. It'll be one of his elves. Well, then can I give the elf my Christmas list? Well, no. You, you cannot let the elf know you know it's an elf because then he'll disappear. Like, it's an elf, and they're undercover trying to see if kids are good or bad. That's how Santa knows if you're good or bad. So be really good on the bus, okay? Okay, Dan. So go outside and get on that trimousine or bus or whatever you want to call it. Okay. <sighs> Ugh, I can't believe my dad's gonna make me take the bus. <sighs> hey, Junior. Cody, you're taking the bus too? Yeah, my mom said she wouldn't drive me to school anymore because she found out gas was made from dinosaur fossils and she wants to save the dinosaurs. I tried to tell her they were already dead, but she wouldn't listen. But the school bus uses gas. No, believe me, I tried to tell her that too, but she said if the dinosaurs died for learning, it was worth it. What's up, dudes? Joseph, you're taking the bus? Yeah, I always take the bus, dude. I didn't even know there was a bus. Me neither. Hey, guys! Jeffy, don't tell me you're taking the bus also. Yeah, my daddy told me he won't take me to school anymore. That's what my dad said. Oh, oh, oh the bus is coming. Wait, that's the bus? It's a short bus. Ooh, 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 ooh. Come on, guys, let's get on. Okay. Dude, the bus is so fun. Hey, get on the damn bus. We ain't got all day. Guys, let's get on. Uh, where do we sit? You can sit anywhere, dude. Let's sit in the back. No, I'm not Rosa Parks, dude. I'm gonna sit right here, and I'm not moving. Well, why don't we just sit in the back? No! Okay, damn. I'm, I'm sitting in the back. I can't wait to sit in the back. Back off, nerd. This is my seat. Well, I thought the seat was empty. No, I was just down here. I like to scare people. Oh, well, Penelope, can I sit with you? No, Junior. This is my seat. But there's enough room for both of us. Get your own, Junior. There's plenty of other seats. Well, I'm gonna sit right here. No! Then I have to look at you. Deal with it. Ugh! Uh, can I ride up front? I get car sick. I don't give a shit. Just sit your ass down. Yes, ma'am. Don't call me ma'am. It makes me feel old. Call me sweet cheeks. No, okay, sweet cheeks. Damn right. All right, brats, listen up. My name's Barbara, and I'm your bus driver. But you can call me Babs. On this bus, there's a few rules. Rule number one, absolutely no talking. I got a wicked hangover, and talking activates my schizophrenia, and it'll cause me to drive this bus right now in coming traffic. Rule number two, absolutely no cologne. Cologne messes with my allergies, and I'll sneeze my tampon right out of my body. Uh, can I roll down my window? And absolutely no rolling down windows, okay? We got AC for a reason. And speaking of AC, I'm turning it off, okay? It's a cool 98 degrees outside, so you'll get over it. And if I catch you rolling that window down, I'll pull this bus over and beat the shit out of you. See that camera up there? It doesn't work, so I can't get caught. And if you try telling your parents, I'll, I'll tell them that you did it to yourself because you're emo. Now let's rock! I'm already getting sick. Hey, Junior, I'll bet you five bucks that you hit the bus driver with this paper ball. Uh, I wouldn't do that. You're going to get mad. I'm going to send it. <laughs> Don't you ever throw another paper ball at me. I have eyes in the back of my head. <laughs> hey! Shut the hell up! I said no talking! You're gonna make my schizophrenia act up! Sorry. Yeah, shut up. I'm not trying to die today. But it was Jeffy. He threw the paper ball. Hey, window licker. One, you're ugly. You're ugly. Yeah, well, if the seat wasn't here, I'd fight you. Well, I can jump over the seat. Yeah, me too. Well, let's go then. Let's go. If I catch you fighting again, you both are gonna leave here in body bags. Yes, sir. That's right. 
sick of these damn kids. Can you please just drive the bus? Hold on, I need to take a sip of my Yoo-Hoo. Put your Yoo-Hoo down and drive the bus. How about you get pregnant at 15 years old, drop out of high school, and become a bus driver? Then you can make the rules. Okay. I wanna, why, why am I getting pulled over? Probably because you weren't driving the bus. Well, my son is a police officer. I'm getting out of this ticket. Can't wait to see what this is about. Open the door. Ma'am, can you please explain to me why no one was driving this bus? But Mom, why are you driving a bus? I knew my own son would be the one to pull me over. Mom, you weren't driving the bus. There's kids in here. You can't do that. Well, there was a fight in the back and I had to break it up. Well, then why didn't you just pull over? And you're not even supposed to be driving. Your license got suspended because you get too many DUIs. Well, I gotta make money somehow. Are you gonna pay my mortgage? No. All right, then get the hell off my bus. Okay, but look, if you get pulled over again, I can't help you. That's all right. Th th this force loves me. All right, sorry about that, kids. That was my son trying to pull me over and give me a ticket. So if you love your mother and you grow up, don't be like him. Now let's see if I can get you to schools on time so you can get an education. Hey, Joseph, what are you doing? Dude, I gotta get ready for school. I gotta smell good. Well, she said don't spray cologne. Dude, she'll never know. Ah, two! All right, that's it. Which one of you sprayed the cologne? I just sneezed my tampon out. Was it you? I'm throwing up. Oh, I'm gonna find who sprayed that cologne. And when I do, I'm gonna throw you off this moving bus. Dude, she's coming! What do we do with it? I'll get rid of it. Throw it, throw it, throw it. Was it you? Do you guys have the cologne? Uh, no, I think it's back there. Yeah. All right, I'm coming. What is this? Aha, uh -huh, I gotcha. What are you talking about? You're the one with the cologne. No, I just found it. Uh-huh, likely story. You're coming with me. You're coming up this bus. <laughs> Get off no! my bus! Ow! Ah! Uh, uh, I'm calling my dad. Ah! Did she just throw her off the bus? She did, dude, she did. At least it wasn't me, because <laughs> my life matters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's it, Brads. You broke it every rule. You started talking. You had cologne. I swear, you guys are on the last strike. Oh, my bag's full of throw up. I gotta roll the window down. That is it! What did I say about rolling the window down? I am pulling this bus over right now! What did I tell you about putting the window down? But I had to throw up. Well, next time you throw up in your mouth, then swallow it. But my throw up bag was full. Oh, your throw up bag is full? Well, come on with me. We're gonna go outside and dump it on the ground and you're gonna eat it. Man, Jeffy, this bus driver's mean. Bet me five bucks I won't steal this bus. Bit. Oh man, how do I drive this thing? Let's listen to this baby purr. <laughs> you guys ready to go home? No school for us today. We can't leave Cody. What tell him to get on your bus? Uh, Joseph! What's up, dude? Uh, tell Cody to get on the bus. We're still in this thing. Oh hell yeah. Alright, dump it right here on the ground and eat it. Please don't make me do this. I said eat it! Cody, hurry up and get on the bus. We're stealing it. <laughs> oh no, you're not. You get back here! She's right behind me! Uh, Jeffy, close the door! <laughs> You kids better not steal my bus! Oh, I'm gonna kill you kids! We left her! Ah! Uh, uh. Alright, guys, we're home! Thank God, get me off this bus! Yeah. Oh man, I hate that bus. Well, I like driving it. Well, what are we gonna do with it? We stole it. We should blow it up. Well, why would you go and park it in your driveway? Well, what if someone sees it? I don't even know. Okay, look, I don't wanna be a part of this. Yeah, me either. Marvin, I got you day quill. Oh, thanks so much, baby. I just want to lay down, take my medicine, and watch TV. Hey, Nanny! But Jeffy, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be at school! That was the meanest elf driving that school bus. What? Elf? What is he talking about? Oh, Daddy told me that one of Santa Claus's elves would be driving the bus, and that's how they know where to pick me up at. Marvin, why would you tell him that? Why am I getting yelled at? Jeffy is skipping school. Jeffy, why are you not at school right now? Because the elf was being so mean that I kicked her off the bus, and I stole the bus, and it's parked in your driveway. Want to see it? You stole the school bus, Jeffy! There's no way you did it. There's absolutely no way you did that. Marvin, look the news! Breaking news, MK! This student has allegedly stolen a school bus. If you have any information on his whereabouts, you're asked to contact the police. Look, Daddy, I'm on the news! I'm famous! Jeffy, when you get out of jail from stealing that school bus, you are so grounded! How did we raise a criminal? I was just trying to save Santa Claus's reputation because that elf was really, really mean! Oh no, who's at the door? What if it's the cops? Hello? Hey there, you know anything about a missing school bus? Uh, no, no I don't. Really? Come with me. Uh... What's that? 
a school bus. Why would you lie to me? I thought we were friends. But buddy, we are friends. Don't touch me. I don't want to be touched by liars. Look, I'm so sorry, but my son stole the school bus. I know he did. He's an idiot because he stole it from my mom. Your mom? What? Oh, come on. What are we in middle school? Mom jokes? Really? Your mom. How about that? What? No, no, I meant like you stole it from your mom? Yes, he did. And you know what that is? Grand Theft Auto. Six. Where is it? It's been like nine years. I mean, I know Grand Theft Auto 5 is good and all, but it's not nine years good. I'm ready for another one. So where is it? Huh? Huh? Tell me, where is it? I don't know. I know you don't. Why would you? You don't work for Rockstar. Let's go talk to your son. Uh, okay. Jeffy, the police officer wants to speak to you. I'll plead the filth. Okay, Jeffy, look. I know you stole the bus. We all know you stole the bus, but I can't arrest you. Why can't you arrest him? Because if I arrest Jeffy, then I'd have to arrest my mom. Your mom? Okay, are all of you that immature that you're still making mom jokes? Your mom. How about that? All of your moms are ugly. How does that feel? Not great, huh? All right, yeah, I can't arrest Jeffy because I'd have to arrest my mom for driving without a license and apparently letting kids take her bus. Your mom's an elf? Okay, if one of you makes another mom joke, you're all going to jail. Oh, look, 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 look. Okay, so Jeffy's not getting arrested. No, but I'm just going to have to let him go with a slap on the wrist. So let me see it. Ow! I would have rather went to jail! Yeah, I know. I'm a good slapper. So who's going to drive the bus if your mom's not driving it? It's going to be somebody very responsible with kids. Come on down. Wait, wait, no, that's that's the John Cena music. How does the Price is Right music go? It's like... Da, 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 no, 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 that, that's, Je that's Jeopardy. Shut up. It's it's like... It's like... Da, 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 da. No, that's... That's Popeye's. Uh, ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, shut up. That's McDonald's. Just, uh, you know what? Just get in here. It's me! I'm going to be the one driving the bus until we find a new bus driver. I didn't see that coming. Neither did I. Well, it looks like everything worked out just fine. But where is Grand Theft Auto 6, though? I mean, seriously, let's have that conversation. It's been like nine years. Jeffy, here's your dinner. Is this a bowl full of boogers, Daddy? No, Jeffy, it's not boogers, it's peas. Peas? You want me to eat pea? No, Jeffy, it's not pea, it's peas. Oh, so you peed in the bowl multiple times. No. Hey, this is coming out of your pee-pee. You might want to go get that checked out. Jeffy, I didn't pee in a bowl. Why would I pee in a bowl and try to fit it to you, Jeffy? It's called peas. They're your peas. Eat them. My pea? You want me to eat my pea? Jeffy, they're called peas. Hey, it doesn't matter how you say it, it's still piss. It's not piss, Jeffy, they're vegetables. They are vegetables, these peas are vegetables. Oh, so my pee pee's a vegetable. No, Jeffy, your pee pee is not a vegetable, the balls are. Oh, so my balls are vegetables? <laughs> so I can tell girls to eat their vegetables and I'll suck on these nuts. No, Jeffy, fine, look, fine, they're boogers. I knew it, because piss is yellow and my balls are vegetables, they're strawberries. Jeffy, just eat your bowl of boogers. I already had a bowl of boogers this morning, Daddy. <sighs> okay, fine, Jeffy. What do you want to eat for dinner, then? What do you want to eat? Chuck E. Cheese. Chuck E. Cheese? Uh-huh. Fine. Let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. Get ready. You ready? I just got to put some, uh, some shoes on my peg legs, Daddy. All right, then go find your shoes, and let's go to Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> hmm, where are my shoes? <gasps> Puppy Bob, why are you eating my shoes? Bad, 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 bad! Daddy! What's wrong, Jeffy? Poopy butt eating my shoe! Look, bad, poopy butt! Bad, bad, bad! We talked about this! You don't eat shoes! You don't, uh, rub your nose in it! You know what? It's, it's time for you to get neutered, poopy butt! Neutered? I want to be neutered! What's neutered? That's where you get your balls cut off, Jeffy. Oh, well. You got it, Daddy! How about you neuter yourself? How about that? Well, Jeffy, we have to punish poopy butt! Look, he destroys everything, he chews on stuff, and, and look, we broke his teeth off to stop him from breaking stuff by chewing on stuff, and he still does it, so we gotta punish him somehow! Well, Daddy, now I don't have shoes to go to school! Well, I guess that means I I don't have to go to school. Well, you know what, Jeffy? You have to go to school because we're going to buy you new shoes. But then I don't want new shoes. I want these shoes. Well, you know what? If you want your old shoes, Jeffy, it looks like you have to stick your foot down his throat to get the rest of the shoes out because he's been eating it all damn day. Hey, what? what's up, Americas? My name is Tyrone Nutkiss, and I got some new hard-ass shoes I want to show y'all. Check this out. They call the Bumblebees. Yeah, it's a lot of buzz going on in the streets. And look on the inside. There's an actual sting on the inside. Every time you walk, it stings your ass on the foot. Make sure y'all go and get a pair right now before they sell out. Woohoo, the bitches hard. Daddy, I want those Bumblebee shoes. Jeffy, I'm not gonna buy you shoes that literally sting you every time you walk. But Daddy, I'll be the coolest kid in school. Jeffy, I don't think you understand. Every time you walk, it stings you like a Bumblebee. But they look so cool, Daddy. <sighs> Do you really want those shoes, Jeffy? Yeah. Okay, fine, I'm gonna get you those shoes, but you better not cry and complain when they sting you every time you walk. Okay. 
doing, Daddy? Ow! Damn it, Daddy, you whore! All right, Jeffy, do you like your new shoes? <laughs> yeah, Daddy. Do they hurt? A little bit. Let's test, the, let's test out the bumblebee thing. Please don't. All right, let's test them out. Whore! You're a whore! How do you sleep? <gasps> so, they, so they hurt, Jeffy? Oh, yeah, Daddy, hell yeah! But, but do you like them? <laughs> yeah, Daddy, they're really great. Thanks, Daddy. You're welcome. So, uh, get, you know, go to sleep so that you can wake up in the morning to go show people your, your new shoes at school. Okay, Daddy. I'll fuck out shit. Okay, so Jeffy's in bed, he has a new pair of shoes, and tomorrow he's gonna be the coolest kid in school. Mario, please! I don't have any money, Black Yoshi. Mario, you agree for that! You always be a super potamus that I'm gonna be asking you for some money. Well, I'm sorry, Black Yoshi. Yeah, I'm sorry that I shouldn't be a super potamus that you're gonna ask me for money all the time because you always ask me for money all the time. But Mario, I promise you this time it ain't about some money. Okay, so if it's not about money, then what's it about, Black Yoshi? I need some money, folks. See, Black Yoshi, look, it is about money. No, Mario, I said that you'd be a super potamus that I'm gonna ask you for some money. And then you promised me that it wasn't gonna be about money, and then it was about money. Mario, stop bringing up the past. That's what you white folks always be doing. Black Yoshi, okay, well, look, what do you want money for anyway? Mario, there's these new shoes called the Boomerless Bees, and they sting you every time you walk. What, the Bumblebees? I just bought those for Jeffy. See, there you go being green again, folks. See, you buy it for some little white kid, but you won't buy it for your best friend. Black Yoshi, you're not my best friend. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That hurt me deep. You missed it. You missed it. Black Yoshi, I'm not going to buy you those stupid shoes. But Mario, well, I always be pays you back. You never pay me back, Black Yoshi. Name one time I ain't be pays you back. Every time you've ever borrowed money, you've never paid me back. See, there you go, you can't even name a time. Well, because uh, it's been all the times. Mario, I, I, you can't name a time, so I always be paid you back. I pay you back with friendships. I don't want stupid friendships. Look, you look, fine, look, I don't have any money. And look, Jeffy already has the shoes, so if you want to go look at the shoes, you can go look at them at, on, on Jeffy's feet. But look, I, don't, I can't help you get the shoes, Black Yoshi. <laughs> well, it looks like I'm going to go pay some Jeffy some business, and I'm going to take a look at them shoes. Oh, okay, fine. <sighs> Ooh, about to steal them shoes. Ah! Ow! Ow! I'm not gonna be able to get those shoes off of them tonight. Cause I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. Ow! Hey Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Ow! Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Ow! Pencil sharper my pee pee, daddy, that hurt! Well, well Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Okay, daddy. Well, how'd you sleep? Not great, daddy. These shoes hurt like hell. Well, they sting you every time you move, so look, Jeffy, go to school. Come on. All right. Ow! Ow! Why did it have to hurt so bad? Whoa, Jeffy, are those the new Bumblebee shoes? They sure are. Ow! Well, where'd you get them at? My daddy, ow! Bought them for me, ow! Cody, you see Jeffy's new shoes? Whoa, are those the new Bumblebees? Oh, they go hard, just like me in the men's locker room. Well, wait, dude, he has the new Bumblebees? Yeah! Oh, dude, wait, I thought they were slowed out. They are. They sting every time you walk. Oh. They, just, just like me, whenever I pee, it stings. <sighs> oh, shoot, they're epic. Those shoes are so cool. Right? All right, Crust. Today, we're going to be learning about shapes. So the first shape we're gonna start with is the Pentagon, most protected building in all of the United States. Cameras are on the entire thing. And need no catch plane crashing into building? I call bullshit, inside job. Anyway, class, today we have a new student. His name is Rak Roshi. So stand up, Rak Roshi, and introduce yourself to the class. Uh, uh, yeah, Mr. Choo Choo Train. Well, my name's Black Yoshi, and I'm here because I dropped out of the fourth grade. Because Miss Limpkiss said I ain't read so good, and I ain't know my shappies. So I'm here to learn my shappies and get my GED. All right, Black Yoshi. Well, let's make sure you learn your shappies so you can go first. So what is this shape? 
Sursal. All right. And what is this shape? Triangle. Okay. And what is this shape? Squarry. Okay. All right. What about this shape down here? Hexagon. All right. Very good. And this shape? Uval. Okay. And this shape down here? Rahamba Boost Boost. Okay. And this shape right here? Rectangle. Okay. And down here, what is this shape? Trapezole. Okay, and you better know what this shape is. Pentagage. All right, final shape. What it is, Black Yoshi? Octopus. Okay, Black Yoshi, you did okay. You were a little off on the name of the shoppies. So let's move on to the cars. So we start off with Brown. Brown no around the store. Man, I need to find a way to get them shoes. How am I gonna do it? Oh, I know. Ah! God, please make these shoes stop hurting. Yo, Jeffy, my boy. I see you be got them new boobless bees. <laughs> yeah, sure do. Oh, man, well, Booty Bill behind you, man, he be talking a lot of smack. He said that you wouldn't be able to kick his butt if you weren't wearing them shoes. So he thinks just because you got them shoes on, that's what makes you good at fighting. Oh, did he? Yeah, man, so, so what I think you need to do, you need to take them shoes off and go teach Booty Bills a lesson. Okay. Hey, man, you like talking shit? What? Yeah, you're about to catch these hands. No, no, I'm learning about colors right now. Well, you're about to learn about the color red when you're bleeding out your eye sockets, bitch. Black Yoshi, hold my shoe. Ow! Ow! Catch these hands, bitch! What? Hey, stop fighting! You stop fighting right now! Sorry, teacher. He just likes to talk shit. I do. <sighs> Shoes go. Oh, oh, man. Oh, teacher, can I come there in front of the class? Yeah, hurry up. Great. Hey, class. I just got one question for you. Who the fuck did it? Some asshole in this classroom stole my bumblebee shoes. So I'm giving you five seconds, four seconds, to bring me my shoes, or else I'm going to take this foot and shove it in each and every one of your asses. So who the fuck? Hey, Danny. Hey, Jeffy, how was school? Shitty. Why'd you have a bad day, Jeffy? Because some fuckhead stole my shoes. What, Jeffy, someone stole your shoes? How did they steal your shoes? They were on your feet. I took them off, Danny. Why would you take your shoes off at school, Jeffy? Because I had to beat ass. Jeffy, why would you take your shoes off to beat someone's ass? Because the kid challenged me that I couldn't beat his ass while wearing my shoes. Jeffy, then clearly that kid stole them. If he told you to take your shoes off. He didn't steal them, Danny, because he doesn't have feet. Jeffy, just because he's not feet doesn't mean he can't sell them to someone else. Well, he didn't do that either, Daddy, because I was too busy beating that ass. Jeffy, look, those shoes are really, really expensive, and they're really valuable. And look, I can't believe you got them stolen, Jeffy. You know, I'm going to call the cops and file a missing shoe report because that's just ridiculous that someone stole from you. You know, I'm going to call the cops, Jeffy. All right, Daddy. Hey there, got a call about something being stolen? Uh, yes, officer. Today, my son's shoes got stolen by some kid at school. Yeah, that, that sounds more like a teacher problem. Why didn't you just tell your teacher? Because the teacher didn't give two shits. Well, then why should I? Because they're really nice shoes and they're valuable. They're shoes. Well, they were the bumblebees, so they were black whoa, and yellow. Whoa. They were the bumblebees? Uh, yes. Y you didn't tell me they were the bumblebees? Damn, I wish I would have stolen those. Those bitches hard. Wait, so you know about the bumblebees? Yeah, I know about the bumblebees. I wish I had some, but I don't, I don't actually have any feet. But, it, but if I did, I'd be wearing them. I'd, I'd be getting stung every five seconds. Well, see, those shoes are really nice, and I, I bought them for my son yesterday, and now he said some kids stole them, so can you help us find them? Yeah, yeah, I can definitely get right on that. Uh, I don't know what to do, though. I, I guess I could try to interview the teacher, see if he saw anything. Uh, do you know how to get a hold of the teacher? Uh, I, I think so. Uh, egg rolls! <laughs> okay, uh, let me go answer the door. Uh, hello? You say egg roll? Uh, yeah, uh, why are you so close? Because I can't see you! Oh, well, uh, we, we really need your help. Oh, you need me to cook, cat? Uh, no, something else. C come inside. Okay. All right, officer, here's Jeffy's teacher, Jackie Chu. Uh, oh, uh, well, my Chinese is a little rusty, but I used to be a translator for the Hong Kong Police Department, so I'm going to try to talk to him. Uh, excuse me, sir, I would like some mushu pork with some wonton soup and a fortune cookie, please. Okay, that'd be nine seventy four. Uh, well, that's not a very good deal at all. How much is the buffet? Twelve fifty. Well, shit, I might as well just get the buffet then. Uh, he can speak English. Uh, oh, oh yeah, he can. Uh, during class today, did you happen to see some black and yellow shoes go missing? No, I no see shit. My eyes are so straight, I must see a T. Oh, um, well, did you hear anything? Oh, all I heard was a lot of fighting. Oh, well, did, did anything unusual happen today? Hmm. Oh, we did get a new student. Uh, His name is, uh, uh, Brack Roshi. Oh, 
Brack Roshi. I, I don't know anybody named Brack Roshi, do you? Uh, no, I don't know anyone named Brack Roshi. Uh, well, thank you anyway, sir. Oh, no problem. I don't know if I can help you there, Mario. Yeah, I don't know anyone named Brack Roshi. Hey, Mario! Ow! Check out my new kicks for it! Are you fucking serious? Black Yoshi, where'd you get those shoes? I won them in a combination. Black Yoshi, Jeffy had these exact same shoes and they got stolen today. What? Jeffrey's shoes got me took? Uh, yeah, the exact shoes that you have on your feet right now. Oh, man, folk, I ain't know nothing about all that. Black Yoshi, just admit you stole Jeffy's shoes because these are Jeffy's exact same shoes. Mario, you know I ain't be all be all that took it. Uh, what? You know I ain't be all that be took it. Oh, yeah, it's much clearer. Black Yoshi, where were you at today? Because Jeffy was at school when he got his shoes stolen. I was at school. Oh, what a coincidence, because that's exactly where the shoes got stolen. Black Yoshi, what were you doing at school? You don't go to school. I was learning my shoppies and trying to get my GED. Black Yoshi, you stole the shoes. Because, look, Jeffy was at school when these shoes got stolen, and now you have these shoes, so you stole them. No, I didn't, folk. I bought these with my own monies. Okay, do you have a receipt for the shoes? No, nah, because I dropped it in a puddle, and it got soggy like bread. Soggy like bread. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what store did you buy him at? Because I can just go there and ask. Man, it got shut down. Uh, well, really? Why? Because a meteor hit it. What? What? A meteor? I, I feel like I probably would have heard about that on the news. Nah, man, because the government trying to cover us up. Wow, all that for a pair of shoes. Black Ocean, cut the shit! Look, you stole these shoes from Jimmy, so just admit it. Mario, you know I ain't took it. Okay, how about we have a lie detector test then? Yes, please. Man, okay, man, take these stupid shoes. I ain't even want some no more. Yeah, because you know you're not going to pass a lie detector test, so you did steal these shoes from Jeffy. So, but Black Ocean, look, you need to learn your lesson. Okay, look, you don't steal stuff, okay? Okay. Hey, you don't ever steal stuff ever again, so we're going to take these shoes and we're giving them back to Jeffy, all right? All right, Bo. All right, so let's get the shoes and you're going to apologize. What? Where are the shoes at? I don't even know. Suckers! These bitches are hard! 